Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. I want to talk to you about three new pairs of boots, two pictured here and one additional pair. These are outdoor boots. My wife has tested out the uh, black and pink ones and I've tested out the camel ones and the other ones we'll show you are some work boots. So these are from a company called Hesia. I've uh, used their boots before. I have a pair of sort of similar to these guys right here. Um, not as rugged as that, but kind of just like an outdoor muck bog type of boot. Um, that's worked well for me for about a probably a year or two and uh, they reached out and said hey you want to check out some boots so I want to check out these new ones so let me give you the rundown I'll roll in some footage of what it looks like um, you know to have us out hiking in them we've used these on a couple different hikes and they work great but these have a lot of functionality these ones when I saw them I took them out of the box I'm like these are huge they're no way they're gonna fit my feet but they're so nicely insulated that they do fit my my, uh, my feet really nicely these are a size 12, I'm a size 12, they fit true to size, and the same is true for my wife as well. So let me give you some of the details on the boots. I'll put links down below if you wanna head over to Amazon to pick any up. Um, yeah, let's talk about the boots a little bit here. All right, so kicking it off here, these are the Apollo Pro, and these are the 800 gram insulated boots. So I'll show you right on the back here. You can see 800 uh, grams, 3M Thin Slate insulation. So when you look at the boot, and I'll show you what they look like on my feet, obviously, when I first look at them, I'm like, these are huge, but there's so much insulation that they're super warm. So you can get it in this, which is called Octane Camo, and then you can get it in something called, I think it's Kanadi or Katani uh, Camo. This one is sort of like an ATAC, so I kind of like that. Um, very comfortable to walk in. Let me show you a feature on the back here. So you can see you've got basically um, a little webbing here. So unclip that to slide in, and then once you put it in, crank this down and then buckle it down and that'll secure it up. So, um, you know, you don't want to get, you can get up to this point in the water. Like you can see, this is actually, this is rubberized in here, but then it'll kind of tip over a little bit there. So you can't go all the way up to the top. You have to go about an inch lower just because it kind of folds in. But obviously that gives you a lot of, a lot of height to get into, you know, very wet situations. And you can see this is all this rubberized material here all the way up to this is where the neoprene is. So neoprene behind that, but I mean, all the way up to this point, it's basically, it's rubberized. So that's awesome. Um, rugged sole, there's a look at that. So quite aggressive. Now I'm not gonna go, you know, hiking or backpacking in these and go 10 miles. This is to get out into the woods. If you're hunting, if you're uh, wanting to get into the woods and hike, you know, a, a mile or two, maybe a mile and a half out, mile and a half back. These were great. I went for probably about a two and a half mile hike with my wife. I wore these and she wore hers and they, uh, they worked out great. You can also get these in 400 gram insulation as opposed to 800 if you wanna get something that's a little less warm. This is a big deal for me here on the back. You've got this whole thing is rubber and then the sole comes up. A lot of times when you take off a boot, you put one toe, your toe over the other boot here and kind of peel it down. And if this spot is weak, major issue. So the fact that this is all rubberized and you've got these three little lips here to basically push down on with your other boot when you take them off, that's definitely a win. So, um, like I said, we went for a, a hike uh, about, you know, two and a half, three miles um, in Maine, in the woods. Um, they worked great. One thing about these types of boots is that it's not going to be as snug on your foot as you would, you know, with a lace-up boot because you can't basically tighten down the top section here. But my concern with a boot like this is that I don't want it shifting around, like, on my foot because then I'll get hot spots. It's uncomfortable. But this thing locked in really nice. So again, size 12 is what I wear, and these are size 12, and they fit great with a pair of not super thick, but you know, winter socks because it was cold out. You can see inside there, we've got some of the sizing information, and then orange inside, and obviously this is just a different color neoprene. It's also neoprene there inside as well. So again, for me, um, when I'm thinking about these types of boots, it's to go out to the woods and shoot a video. It's to go out to the woods and do some bushcrafting. Um, I'm not a huge hunter, but if I'm going out to the woods to do, you know, if you're going out to the woods to do some hunting or you want to do some scouting for wildlife, these are the type of boots I would wear. And I would wear them for most of the year. In the really warm weather, probably for me, I'd be wearing like a light hiker. So if it gets wet, that's not a big deal to me. Um, but it's something you can wear through at least three seasons and maybe four if you don't mind your feet getting a little bit a little bit warm. I can tell you don't wear a low ankle sock because just the way the boot fits, it basically the ankle sock's gonna come off your sock is gonna come off your heel and then kind of be in the center of your foot or on your toe. It's just uncomfortable. So you gotta wear something that goes up, you know, to your calf or up over your calf. So size wise we're looking from men's six to up to size thirteen for men's. Um they are going to run you about 88 bucks. So not super cheap, but I still think cheaper than, you know, a lot of the higher end uh, boots. And functionally, they've been great for me so far. Um, another one of my concerns is that if you're walking, 
on a um, you know on uneven terrain, especially with the rocks, and you get a lot of bend in the sole, you can get a crack in the boot, which I've had happen before. Um, but this one, you could see how thick that sole is. I mean, that's that's nice and chunky there. So I'm really liking these boots, and I do like this, the style. I think that Octane camo is really cool. So that's our first pair of boots. Obviously, the ones that I've been wearing. Let me show you my wife's boots now, and then we'll take a look at the work boots. Next up here, we have these, which are the women's mid-calf rain boots. Now, you will see in the footage I'm gonna roll in, my wife was out hiking in the snow, and it, was, it wasn't just like a dusting. There was definitely a lot of snow on the ground, and these were great. Um, I wouldn't call them a like a winter boot for like winter hiking again because I don't think this style of boot is made for long term like backpacking. It's made for getting out in the woods a handful of miles and coming back. This is not something I'd wear to you know hike for 20 miles out in the woods. Um, they do have a lot of different styles for these ones. So these are pretty simple with the pink and the black as you can see. Um, they do have really kind of like they got like yellow ones with like chickens and roosters on them they have like kind of a plaid one as well so you know different different styles um these are going to run you around 42 bucks give or take um and she liked these because uh when she put them on they fit true to size they weren't really tight around the top of the foot here sometimes you get these boots and they come down and they almost come straight out there's a nice bend here so when you put them on they're true to size and they're not crushing your foot the other thing is that sometimes here around where it goes around the calf it can be really snug on women's boots and these were like just right so it didn't feel like it was crushing her calf they do have a little pull tab here um i'll show you that real quick which she liked she mentioned that that was definitely a win for her you can see compared to the boots that i had you've got the rubber here rubber here and then neoprene the whole way up obviously um you know you've got a you've got a lot of rubber here that's going to keep out water and to be very it's gonna be durable the neoprene will keep out the water as well obviously once it gets over the little loops there obviously you're gonna get water into the uh into the boot not as rugged a sole let me grab these ones over here you can see the difference in the two soles this one's definitely less aggressive um they're calling it a rain boot i think you could definitely use it in the outdoors for hiking and walking and you know again not a super long distance but these were these were fine she wasn't slipping all over the place in the uh in the rain or when there was kind of muddy spots it was totally good as well but uh she put these on she's tried um muck boots and i think bog boots as well and they just don't feel good for her because they're too tight over here and a little bit comfortable uh, uncomfortable around the calf but um for her these were great so around 40 bucks give or take and a solid boot these guys um from when i first started working with them to now have definitely expanded their line so yeah, I've, I've liked where they're going. I liked them at the beginning and I like where they're continuing to go as a company. So you got about say 90 bucks and about 40 bucks for these. Now we're gonna shift locations and look at the work boot, which is a bit different. Not gonna be with the neoprene and the rubber, kind of like a classic looking boot instead. All right, this is the last boot I wanna talk about. This is the men's mock toe safety boot. Gonna run you about 70 bucks. They come in black, dark brown, and this is the brown. You can see the... Uh, the bottom there, not terribly beat up. I've, you know, these haven't been like worn for six months or something, so I can't talk about long-term durability. Um, these to me are not like an outdoor boot, so I'm not wearing these hiking. These are something I'm gonna put on, head out to the car, go to the office. You know, I gotta go out to a store to pick up some food or something like that. It's kind of an everyday wear boot for me. It is meant to be um, a boot you can wear on your work site. You can get it with a steel toe or without the steel toe. I got it without because I'm not in situations where I need to have the steel toe um, boot. Um, couple things to note about it uh the sole is like as soon as you pick it up you're like that thing feels really solid um sometimes there's a lot of flex in the sole i don't feel that in this at all you can see if you wanted to you could replace the uh laces with paracord you got your eyelets and then the hooks up top got the pole here to put them on um comfortable boot i think good looking so this is a style that people are wearing not just on the work site but just kind of everyday wear boots I like to have something that's gonna be rugged regardless of like how it looks. So this is a nice mix for me because I can wear this to work, but also it's a solid uh, it's a solid boot. So like I said, you got a couple different colors, steel toe, not st steel toe. Um, around 70 bucks is the price point for these, uh, for these things. And uh, yeah, that's your three boots that we've talked about from this company, Hisia, that I've been working with for a bit here. Now of these three sets of boots, um, I've, I'm not wearing my wife's boots, obviously. She's worn those. She likes them a lot. She's definitely giving me a big thumbs up and says, you know, tell the company she really likes them. Um, the hunting boot, I've liked that a lot too. Like I said, they feel really, like when I look at them, like those things look huge. They're comfortable, um, very warm. They're not, the, the flex in them to me is just right. So when I'm walking, I'm like, okay, I don't feel like I'm walking in like, you know, a, a piece of steel but it doesn't feel like it's kind of like moving all over the place like a like a tennis shoe or something like that so i've liked those 
These ones I've worn the least of the uh, of the three, but still a solid boot. And this is going to be, as the weather gets warm, I probably won't be wearing these as much. But as the cooler weather comes in the fall, you'll see, you know, I'll be, you'll probably won't see it because we don't live in the same town, but um, I'll be wearing these more often. So um, I like this company. I have worked with them in the past. They reached out. We worked probably two years ago. I like what they're doing. It's a company that not a lot of people know. You know, if you're like, oh, I'm going to buy some boots, people are like, okay. You know, are you gonna buy some Timberlands? Are you gonna buy something from, I'm trying to think like Red Wing. I think that's another another uh, boot brand. If you're wearing hiking boots, you know, you're gonna get a pair of Merrill, something like that. These guys are not as well known, but part of what I like to do on this channel is to let you guys know about companies that I've worked with. Um, I can't speak to um, customer service because I haven't had something go completely sideways and reach out and say, hey, can you guys fix this? But that being said, they've worked well for me. Um, my recommendation to you is pick a shoe or pick a boot that fits with what you're trying to do, right? So if you are going to be um, out in the woods and you're going to be hiking for long distances, you know, I recommend a hiking boot as opposed to like a winter boot that is going to get you a mile into the woods, but not, you know, it's not comfortable to wear for a lot of backpacking or hiking. If you're looking for something you can wear all day long in the office, don't get something that goes up to your knee because that's going to be too hot and uncomfortable. So pick the right shoe. These guys have a, uh, a nice size amount of shoes as far as the, um, the volume on their website. They don't have like 150 different models, but the ones they have, there's quite a few that I think, you know, could reach into the different areas that you might be, uh, might be interested in purchasing shoes. I'm not getting a kickback from these guys. I don't have like an affiliate program with them. Um, so if you purchase them, that's for you guys. And I'm glad that you have a product that you like. And, uh, yeah, so I'll let you know about that. Check out the description section below to see if there are um, any discount codes. I'll reach out to these guys and try to put a discount code in there for you. Last time I went to the website, I think if you sign up, you get 8% off. So save a little cash just by doing that. Sign up for their email account or you're signing up your email account with them. But uh, if I can find you know additional discounts or get additional discounts, they'll be in the description section. And uh, yeah, let's hear your thoughts on what you've seen in this video and get that conversation started in the comment section now. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.